Hello everyone, in this video we will use now mesh to make enemies follow the player. Let's begin. We have one player object on our scene. This is the main character we control and we have three zombie characters and they are prefab. These zombies will follow our character. Now let's open the navigation under the AI tab from the window tab. Then click on terrain and go to the back tab. You can change the settings here according to your own terrain. Then press the back button. And as you can see the walkable areas are blue. Our characters will only be able to move in these blue areas. They won't be able to move to other areas. Then let's add the new mesh agent component inside the zombie character. You can set the stopping distance value to 2 or you can increase speed. It's up to you to change the settings here. I do apply all from the override section to reflect these settings to other zombies. This is one of the advantages of using prefab. As you can see this component has been added to all of them. Then create a script called enemy. And we open this script. In our script, we define the now mesh agent named enemy. Don't forget to import the using part. Then in the start method, we make the assignment. And we create a transform named player target. Then we make them follow our character by typing enemy.setDestination player target.position in the update method. That's it for our code part. Let's drag our script to zombie. Then assign the player to the player target section and I'm overriding again. And we apply the same process to other zombies. That's it, let's test it now. As you can see, zombies are following the player. We are done. If you like this video, please subscribe, also leave a comment. See you in the next video.